In this video, uh, we worked examples 4, 5, and 6 from your 5.4, section 5.4 lecture notes on exponential models. So in example 4, we're given the drug lorazepam used to relieve anxiety and nervousness has a half-life of 14 hours. If a doctor prescribes one 2.5 milligram tablet every 24 hours, then what percentage of the last dosage remains in the patient's body when the next dosage is taken? So we're given the half-life of the drug lorazepam, and it has a half-life of 14 hours. So using the half-life, we can calculate the decay rate. The decay rate K is equal to the natural log of 0.5 divided by the half-life. And so in this case, K is equal to minus 0 0.04951051. Okay. So our model, our mathematical model for modeling the amount of the last dosage in the patient's body as a function of time is equal to the initial, right, is equal to the dosage, 2.5 milligrams, times E raised to the value of K, which is minus 0 0.04951051 times T power, right, where T is time. So we're asked to find the percentage of the last dosage that is in the patient's body 24 hours after they take the last dosage. So to find the amount of the drug in the patient's body 24 hours later, we just evaluate A of T at T equals 24. So 24 in for little t here. And when I do that arithmetic, I get the amount of the last dosage in the patient's body 24 hours later is 0.762 milligrams. But the question is, what percentage of the last dosage remains in the patient's body when the next dosage is taken 24 hours later. So we have to divide 0.762 milligrams divided by the dosage size of 2.5 milligrams and when we do that division we get 30.5 percent. So 30.5 30 percent of the last dosage is in the patient's body when the next dosage is taken. All right, in example five, we're given the burial cloth of an Egyptian mummy is estimated to contain 59% of the carbon-14 contained originally. How long ago was the mummy buried? Well, back in example three, uh, we calculated the decay rate for carbon-14, and we found the decay rate to be minus 0 0.00012097. So our model, our decay rate model, our decay model for exponential decay model for carbon-14 is the amount of carbon-14 at time t is equal to the original amount of carbon-14 times e raised to um, this number times t power. A sub zero is the initial amount of carbon-14. And so we're given today um, the burial cloth of the Egyptian mummy, mummy contains 59% of its original carbon-14. So the amount of carbon today is 0.59 times the original amount of carbon-14. So to calculate how old the burial cloth is, we replace A of T up here on the left-hand side with 0.59 times A sub 0, which I've done over here. And now we can solve for T. A sub 0 is a common factor on the two sides, so we divide each side by A sub 0, and then we get this equation right here. So we have a single equation in the variable T. And then when I solve for T, I get 
the age of the burial cloth is 4,361.7 years. All right, in example six, <clears throat> we're given initially 200 milligrams of a radioactive substance was present. After five hours, the mass had decreased by 3%. In part A, you're asked, find an exponential model for the amount remaining of the decaying substance after T hours. So we're given that the initial amount of the radioactive substance is 200 milligrams. So A sub zero is equal to 200 milligrams. Now, after five hours, 3% of this 200 milligrams has decayed, which means 97% is still, 97% of the initial amount still remains. If 3% is decayed, then the amount that remains is 100% minus 3%, which is 97%. So <laughs> the number of milligrams that remain is 97% of 200 milligrams, which is equal to 194 milligrams. So 194 milligrams of the radioactive substance remains after five hours. Our exponential decay model for this problem is A of T is equal to the initial amount A0, sub zero, times E to the KT power, where K is the decay rate. So we gotta figure out what the decay rate is for this problem. Well, we put in 200 in for A sub zero, and we know at t equals five, right, the amount remaining at t equals five, five hours is 194 milligrams. And so when I put in five in for t in our model on the right hand side, I have 200 times e to the five k power. And so <laughs> I replace a sub five here with 194. And now I have this equation in the variable k. And when I solve for k, I get the decay rate of minus 0 0.00609184. So now I put this value of K in for K up here in our model, our exponential decay model. And so the answer to A, to ex find an exponential model for the amount remaining of the decaying substance after T hours, our model, our exponential decay model is A of T is equal to to the initial amount 200 times e raised to this exponent. In B, you're asked, find the amount remaining after 12 hours. So to find the amount remaining after 12 hours, I just put 12 in for t, and I have a of t is equal to 200 times e raised to this power. And when I do the arithmetic, I get the amount remaining after 12 hours is 185.9 milligrams.